Hi friends, my name is Al or Lil Starnard. Welcome to today's video. I am very tired. You may have seen my community post. This is not the video that I intended to put out today. I will talk about that whole mess later. It's not a big deal. This video, while I did rush to like put it together, it's not a bad video. It's just really not the video that I wanted to put out, which that video will come next weekend, so don't worry. But like, I'm looking rough, I'm feeling rough, it's fine. In that community post, I joked like, oh, I've, I'm fighting for my life on that video. And someone commented like, fighting for your life? Are you sick? And if by that you mean like, am I sick as hell? Like, yes, I am sick. No, I'm fine. I just like, it was a lot of stress. Anyways, not the point. Despite this not being the video that I wanted to put out, I think it's, you know, for the best. I had a good time and I learned a good lesson today. This is a fill a sketchbook spread with me, sketch with me. So grab your sketchbook and let's do some work together. Normally when I say that, I encourage you to grab like whatever you're working on, projects, homework, whatever. But today I want to specifically encourage you to grab a sketchbook. Whether you wanna work on some studies or some indulgent personal art, I wanna do some stuff that's just for us today. Also, before we get started, I wanna thank my patrons for sponsoring today's video. Your names are on screen. Thank you so much. Love you guys. My Patreon has been slowly, steadily growing and it's so exciting and cool and rewarding to see. I've talked about this a few times, but this is the year that I really want to make this job like sustainable. I want to be able to support myself on this job alone. And Patreon is a really big part of that. I would not be able to like keep doing this if it weren't for my patrons. So if you also want to support me, you want to help me keep making videos, check out my Patreon. It's really fun over there. We have monthly exclusive videos. And this month was really fun. I tier ranked my own art. There's monthly postcards stickers, an audio podcast. And if you're really crazy, you can get a monthly original from me. So yeah, go check it out. The link will be down below. Uh, thank you, patrons. Love you. Anyways, without further ado, let's, let's start drawing. If you guys didn't see my recent community post that I mentioned, this video is the result of a bit of a crisis. I had a video planned for this weekend that I was super, super excited about, tried really hard on it, and I worked, you know, really, really hard to get it done in time. And I'm a bit busy this month, like schedule wise. So it did take a bit of work to get it done on time. And of course there were so many obstacles getting that video done. The primary issue being my editing software decided to throw a fit, which it does every once in a while. I don't know why, but it, it'll just randomly decide that it doesn't want to export videos like at all. So I tried exporting that video that I made about five times. The first four all failed at the end, like at the very end without explanation. And each export took about seven or eight hours for a 23 minute video. So you can imagine how painful that was. And then finally on the fifth export, which took about 12 hours, it finally worked. All that to find out that I hadn't read the sponsor's contract properly and it couldn't even go out that weekend. It will still come out. It'll come out next weekend. So keep an eye out because I'm super excited about it. I really am excited for you guys to see it. Oh my God, all that stress and work. And then I realized like, I still don't have a video for this weekend. I was really considering skipping an upload not posting anything this weekend because I, I really wasn't sure I would have time to film anything. And I know like that you guys wouldn't be mad at me. Like I know that's fine to do, but like on my end of it, like algorithm wise, I really try to avoid doing that. Not only is it just a personal kind of satisfaction, like point of pride type thing to do my job well enough that I'm not having to skip uploads, but also that means that like my AdSense will be dipping because I won't have something new to put out to make more AdSense. It also means that it could like affect the algorithm. And obviously I don't wanna mess with that stuff. But anyways, like I said, I really wasn't sure that I would have time to throw a video together. So this video, it's, I managed, I managed it, I got it done, but it is honestly a pretty sloppy, low effort sketchbook spread video. Not exactly what I would like to be putting out right now. I would love to do something higher effort. Even as a sketchbook spread, I do love sketchbook spread videos, but I would like to do something a little bit more. But you guys were very kind and you said you'd watch anything I put out, no matter how messy or sloppy. So thank you. And I hope that's true. 
For this spread, I wanted to pull out my Pentel pens again because I've really missed those babies. I've been craving using them. And I had intended to do some lighting studies, you know, those charts of a face and then like the light kind of circles around them for different shadows. And I know those photos exist. I can picture them in my head. I've seen them on Pinterest, except of course <laughs> I couldn't find any pictures like that that actually worked because obviously this video was going to be difficult. And then the photos I did find, I found that a lot of it was super, super like repetitive. So I also pulled some other photos to draw, which totally threw off the vibes, but whatever, it's fine. Not worried about it. Um, it was all stuff that I wanted to draw, just not on the the same page, but it's cool, it's fine. I also really, really struggled with these drawings. Like I'm not at all happy with how most of these little drawings turned out. For the past two or three weeks, I've noticed that I've been really struggling to draw, not like paint or color, but specifically like sketching and drawing and line art related stuff. And I think it's because I just haven't done a lot of art lately, especially art like that. I feel like I haven't been doing a lot of art for a while now. Like I feel like I've been saying that in videos frequently for a while, but at the same time, I feel like I don't fully process that I haven't been doing a lot of art because I am a full-time artist. And so I feel like I think I do more art than I do because that should be the nature of my job. Does that make sense? Like on one hand, I feel like I never do art. On the other hand, I feel like I don't even know that I'm not doing art. One thing I've been thinking about lately and wondering how I can adjust for this is the fact that that art often gets prioritized last. I'll reach the end of my workday and ask myself, do I have enough time to get some sketchbook work done? I'm supposed to clock out in 10 minutes. Should I work a bit longer today to draw? But then do I wanna go over my work hours and let that leach into my personal time? Not to mention that by the end of my workday, my wrists are usually really tired and sore. I used to be very firm that personal art and drawing time should be most often considered work and be done during my work hours. But a lot of the time, that means I don't really have time to do it, especially during busy periods like this month and almost this entire year, it's fine. But also I have to take my art and physical health into consideration. I don't know, I really need to spend some time thinking about what I can do to balance that out and prioritize more art time because it's seriously lacking. I definitely notice my art suffering when I don't have time to do it. Consistency really is key, whether we like it or not. This is advice that I used to give a lot from like the beginning of my online art career until, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago. And recently I've, I've tried to avoid giving that advice because it's really difficult. Like obviously it's easy for me to do art regularly because it's literally my full-time job right now. And that's a huge privilege that I get to prioritize the thing that makes me happy and I have the time to work at getting better. Obviously not everyone has that same time. Like I imagine myself giving the advice of like make time for art every day to someone working three jobs and lives paycheck to paycheck and is supporting someone else. And I like wanna slap myself, right? Like that's so annoying to say. The truth is being good at something and pursuing an art or a creative field is a privilege that not everyone is afforded in our wonderful capitalist society. But it's times like these that I'm reminded why consistency is so important in the pursuit of improvement. It sounds so obvious, but sometimes I feel like, not that I'm exempt, just, you know, like I said, I forget that I'm not doing art regularly because it seems like I would be. And then I hit these moments where for days, I just cannot draw anything that I like. Nothing turns out right, struggle with everything. And it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm sucking because I'm already out of practice. So while I don't wanna give you the advice that you need to draw for hours every day, I can tell you that no matter your skill level, consistency will always be required for you to not only improve, but to maintain your ability. If you really wanna get better, it does require dedication and regular practice. Not only to get better, but like I said, to maintain as well. Very recently, I did drawings just like these in this video with these same supplies, and they all came out really, really well. They were easy, I was confident, I rarely, if at all, messed up the anatomy. I liked my choices, like overall, it was all just better. And then for a few weeks, I didn't touch these supplies, I didn't do any sort of art that really directly relate to that style, and boom, you know, I try again and I struggle a lot. And this spread honestly was a struggle. I kept messing up the anatomy, I was hesitant to start each drawing, I couldn't decide on how I wanted to represent the shadows, like stylistically, I didn't know what I was doing. I wasn't even sure that I liked the color choices 
choices and the marker choices. To be a bit more fair to myself, I obviously was stressed when doing this. I rushed through it all a bit and it was on really short notice. So that might be part of the reason. And I also wanna make it clear that I'm not trying to be hard on myself and critique when I'm critiquing myself. Like this process was objectively harder for me than it usually is. And this spread did not turn out as well as similar ones have previously. I know that I can do a better job at representing anatomy and using these supplies. What I am saying is that this is a great example of proving that consistent practice is important for everyone. This was hard because this is the first time in weeks or maybe months I picked up these particular supplies. This was hard because I didn't warm up before drawing. You know, it was hard because I'm out of practice. If you're a beginner or beginner intermediate artist and you've noticed that some days you do really well and some days you have a really hard time, that is totally normal. That is a very normal thing that every artist at every skill level experiences. And hopefully as you get better and better, those periods of everything being really hard will become fewer and far between, but they'll still happen. But ultimately what I've come to learn as an artist is that the best way to ward off those days is by doing art as regularly and frequently as possible. Especially when you're early on in your quote unquote journey, <laughs> it can be hard to find the time or motivation to regularly draw, practice. You know, you haven't built that up up as a habit yet, you're not used to reaching for those supplies. So I think the best advice I could possibly give a younger or newer artist, or any artist, frankly, including myself, obviously, is to work on consistency. Figure out where art can go in your schedule and stick to it as much as possible. It's the same thing as a muscle, right? Like the less you move it, the faster it starts to deteriorate. The less you draw, the faster that skill starts to fade away. I definitely needed that reminder and this video, like the sketchbook spread, was a good kick in the butt to like really start prioritizing art making and to look at my schedule and figure out a way to ensure I have time to do personal art regularly. Not only for my personal enjoyment, but literally to maintain my skills as like a vital part of my job. Okay, I feel like this voiceover is incredibly disorganized because I am I am so tired. Like seriously, I am I am working on empty right now. But my point is, my, my thesis here, even though most of us don't want to hear this, consistency really is key whenever it comes to any skill building. I don't know how often you should be working at your art, but I will say it should be more than once every few weeks. I know that this piece of advice is so obvious, like that's why we hate to hear it, right? We're sick of it. But I really don't think I realized the importance of consistency for my art until now, until today, when something I thought would be really easy for me was actually weirdly hard. I don't wanna keep just repeating myself, so I'm gonna kind of change the topic now. My brain is literally too fried to be coherent, so I don't wanna risk talking in circles. I guess I'll give you guys a bit of a life update because I tend to do that when I, when I think when I do these sketchbook spread videos, and I don't think I've done that in a while. So there we go. In my last studio vlog, I mentioned that I got a manager for social media type stuff and asked if you guys wanted to hear about that and some people expressed interest. So I thought I would go into further detail about that. And I do wanna make it so clear that the management will really not change anything for you guys, like at all. Ideally, if I hadn't told you, you would have no idea that anything changed. It's totally administrative, behind the scenes type stuff, nothing to do with like, there, there won't be a change in content type, anything like that. Their main job is to get me more contracts with companies and brands, but there's obviously more to it than that. They kind of manage my email, they'll label and flag emails for me and kind of let me know what's a priority, what's personal, what's an offer, what's junk, so I can deal with that the way I need to and they can deal with responding to deal offers. And it's it's been great for multiple reasons. One of the worst part of my job is dealing with my email, like at all. It's like the first thing that I have to do during the day, I have to check it throughout the day, I do it at the end of the day. And now I really don't have to do that. It's, and it's, I mean, it's crazy. Before when I would get offers in my email, it can sometimes take like, hours to deal with those depending on how many I'm getting that week. I have to read contracts, negotiate, research companies, you know, all that stuff. So having all that taken off my plate has really given me back a lot of time already. Then there's the major benefit of having an official manager talking for me to companies. It's really easy for a brand or company to like tell me to my face, you know, you're only worth 50 bucks. It's a lot harder for them to say that to an industry professional who has worked for companies before and knows what their budget actually is, right? 
It makes me look much more professional. It's like a better communication with companies. Plus they have connections and contacts, not to mention they have a legal team that can better read and understand contracts than I will ever be able to. So there's way more protection for me, my art, my content, way more potential for opportunities, and it's much more likely that I'm going to be fairly compensated. When I met with my manager for the first time, she asked for like a lot of info about previous deals I had done and what I had made from them. And she was like, yeah, you've been seriously undercharging yourself. And it's one thing for me to think that about myself. It's another thing for an industry professional who has been on the other side, who has worked with these companies to tell me that. You know what I mean? It made me feel really good. It made me feel really good. She prefaced it with like, no offense. And I was like, that's the highest compliment you could ever give me ever. Oh, and of course they do take a cut out of each contract that they help me to secure that includes like monetary compensation. I feel like that's important information that I should include when discussing this. But yeah, it's already been great. It's already freed up a lot of time for me and I'm really, really excited about it. I have never ever thought about taking on a manager or having any sort of representation before. I had really only ever heard bad things about it. I associate it with selling out, uh, the MCN. I don't know, I don't know. I just, I never thought I would. I didn't want to lose any sort of control over my channel or career but so far I've had an amazing time with them. I feel like I'm in great hands and I'm, I'm just so glad that I decided to do it. Um, some other updates. I, I hit 100,000 followers on Instagram, which is insane. I had honestly given up on ever really hitting that number or most numbers a while ago, like maybe two or three, I think kind of when I moved to Florida. So maybe like four years ago, honest time is crazy. A couple of years ago, I had been stuck between 55 and 56,000 for like a year at least. And you know, I, I would lose a bunch of followers. I would gain a few back, whatever. I just really didn't think that I'd be growing much beyond that. I really thought that I was stuck. So to be at this number is absolutely crazy. Very cool, very rewarding, very exciting. It's, I don't know, it feels like a promise of more to come. Just like hitting 50,000 on YouTube. It's just like, well, it feels like it's really opening a door to new possibilities. It's giving me reason to be excited about the future. So just very cool. Some more personal type stuff. And actually it is more relevant to this video. I really haven't been doing, I call it like the middle stuff of my life. There's like a spectrum, right? Like there's like the, the boring business stuff, then the fun business stuff, the quote unquote boring personal stuff, and then like the fun personal stuff. I've been doing a lot of the boring business stuff and like the fun personal stuff, but not so much of that middle stuff. I haven't been reading. I don't know why. I just have not been interested. I really want to read, but I haven't been. I haven't been working out regularly. I haven't been doing personal or like sketchbook work, which is like the fun art stuff. But I've been doing a lot of personal financing, business planning, doing cool, fun things on the weekends and taking time off to hang out with family. I really, really wanna to try to get back into a really regular schedule where I have time to make bonus videos again. I haven't been able to do those in so long, where I have plenty of time and energy and motivation for personal art, energy at the end of the day to read. The problem with that is like all of that kind of stuff takes a lot of time. And when I do have a really good balance with all of my stuff, I tend to not have time to spend with family or go do stuff with other people. So I don't know how possible it will be for a while at least. Adult, being an adult, I almost said adulting, oh my God. Uh, being an adult is a lot of like work. It's a lot of like this tiny maintenance and figuring out your, I don't know, it's a lot. I don't, you never have time for anything. That's for sure. But it is definitely something like I, it'll be hard to figure out, but it's definitely something that I want to work on because I am so sick of every single day having to sacrifice my exercise, my reading, sketching, whatever, you know? So we'll see. Besides that, I don't know if much is going on. Life is life, you know, work is work. And I'm having a lot of fun. I'm feeling really good, very appreciative. I'm, you know, very satisfied, gratified with life, just like very content, you know? Even when my work is stressful and tiring and busy, it's so cool knowing that it's my work. I'm tired because I'm passionate about my own thing, about putting the effort into my job. It's not someone else's like dumb business that I have to like bend over backwards for a tiny paycheck. You know what I mean? Like when I'm really busy, that means that my own business, my own career, whatever is doing good. So yeah, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really lucky, very fulfilled, very excited to see like how this whole year goes, the other milestones that I'm able to hit. And I'm really hoping that by the end of the year, I will consistently be making enough money each month to support myself and I'll be able to start preparing to move out. So I don't know, lots of exciting stuff that I'm looking forward to. Just, I'm feeling good and I hope you guys are too. Anyways, my brain is too tired to think of anything else to talk about. So I'm done. Okay, TTYL. <laughs>
it's fine. I like the color combo. At first I was unsure about the color, especially the blue, but I do like the color. Like, I think the vibe is cool. I really like these four. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not trying to be hard on myself. It's just like, I'm rusty, you know? I'm really out of practice and this was a struggle. It wasn't really fun like I would like it to be, but it did serve as a really great reminder that like, hey, work in your sketchbook, prioritize personal art. It, like, I think I forget that like personal art is like a huge part of my job and a huge part of my art health because other things often take priority. And this was a great wake up call that like, this is allowed to take priority to. Was it what I was picturing? No. Is that a bad thing? No. Despite this video being a little bit slapped together, a little sloppy, I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. If you did like, comment, subscribe, the whole shebang. Thank you for being here today. <laughs> go check out my Patreon, drink some water, cause I'm thirsty and go do some art. <laughs> bye, thank you for coming today. Okay, bye, love you. <laughs>